In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to register a 2D electron micrograph into a 3D fluorescent stack. This is particularly useful when you want to know how deep you are in your sectioning process. Open your two images, ensure that the corresponding pixel size are right, and then start ECCLAB. What we want to get here is a final 3D projection to know exactly where the section is located. For that, we select here 3D fluorescence, a uh, 3D correlation. Then we want to re register the electron micrograph into the light micrograph. So this, in this case, we inverse the source and the target. It's not going to be fluorescence microscopy here, but electron microscopy. Then clear all the landmarks point that could eventually be placed beforehand and start the plugin. In that case, when we're looking at this particular specimen, we're looking at this particular cell. When we switch off the fluorescence channel, we see that here some of the dots which are appearing in here in black or white depending on the, uh, on the plane correspond to those dots here in the cell. So we will use these guys to align properly our sections. For example, this first sample here corresponds to this one. Ideally, you'd like to have as many points as possible, but it's not always possible. So take whatever you can and try to align them and assign them correctly. When we're registering a 2D plane into a 3D volume, up to seven points might be necessary to calculate the proper alignment. Some cases, four points will be sufficient, but in some cases, in other cases, you'll need to have up to seven points. This process might take a long, uh, a little while, and you should take that easily and not rush through it. As you can see, we already have four points, and the calculation is not yet processed. This is simply because we don't have yet enough points, as I mentioned earlier on. Try to find as many points as possible. For that you will need obviously to know a bit more about your sample than in other cases. You need to be familiar with your images and you need to process them several times. There is unfortunately no simple way to do this. Here, in that case, the plane that you see here, this plane here, corresponds to the presence of the cover slip. So any point on this line would correspond to the bottom line of our stack. However, this is not necessarily simple to identify, and therefore you have to look for it carefully. Now the calculation is processed, and as you can see, it's already starting to display. The Z stack has been processed in 3D, and therefore your section is now aligned to the fluorescence micrograph. As the sectioning plane was not parallel to the fluorescence imaging plane, obviously your section will be spreading through several planes. You can lock both images together at your convenience, and it helps to scroll around. What you already notice is that the resolution here is far lower than what we used to have beforehand. Obviously because we took the, fluorescence mi the electron micrograph and 
comp and um, scaled it down to match the light microscopy. The other way around, we would have had over, um, oversizing of the, um, the fluorescence micrograph. From now on, you can either stop the software or you can try to place more points, knowing that when you just scroll around, it might help you to find more points. Again, the more the better. And I believe that when we unlock this here, the point which is here corresponds in fact to this one. It's already calculating and readjusting the display. Once all the points are placed, we can stop the plugin and it will create a, pre a preliminary overlay of the two images. This is again a single plane overlay corresponding to the plane of imaging here. Now if you want to merge both signals together, you go into two merge channels, take the for instance micrograph here, add it, you have two channels displayed, take the electron micrograph, add it, and then create the whole volume. Now if you adjust the channels in a more familiar way, here this would be transmitted light, and the channel 1 would be the fluorescence, in our case it was green before. Now we can already see that the fluorescence is panning accurately. So now you have your 3D fluorescence stack containing your EM section. Here we have the display of all channels. If we just remove the transmitted light, we see that our electron micrograph is now fitting inside the fluorescence stack. We can adjust the fluorescence at our convenience. And we can look at how the, se the section is oriented into the block. From there, you can have a clue on how far you've been and if you want to go forward in your sectioning or if you should look at your cells which are a bit before.